guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria Garrick, and today I'm going to be giving you six easy tips to practice volleyball at home. The only thing you need is a ball, so you don't need a net, you don't need a court, you don't need five other people, or you don't need six, six plus five, 11 other people, you can do it by yourself. And this is just for the people that maybe you don't have a team you could practice with, maybe you want to practice more, maybe you are afraid of the coronavirus and you want to stay at home, legitimate concern, feel you on that. These are ways that you can keep getting better at volleyball. So the first thing that you can do is just get touches in by yourself. So something you can do is just touch the ball like this and go back and forth. Just good rhythm to get your hands and your arms used to the feel of the ball and being able to control it. Maybe like looking at someone and talking to them while you do this can be helpful. Um, another thing you can do is pass the ball by yourself. Just practicing a good touch on the platform and control. So that was actually, if you just stay in one spot and you get really good at doing this. You can also set to yourself Fun fact, I have terrible, double, I have terrible hands, as you can see. That was my weakness. But if you're a good setter, you can just do this. This looks better, okay, yeah. If you're a good setter, you can just set to yourself. So the very double, the very first thing that you can do is play with yourself. The next thing that you can do is grab a wall that you can play with. So if you get tired of, you know, playing with yourself, you can play with the wall. And what you can do is just pass back and forth with a wall. This will feel like you're passing with a partner. To make it harder, you can go on an angle. Oops, to make it harder, you can go on an angle. So I'm practicing this angle. And you can flip around and go on the other side. You can also set against the wall. You can make it a short set. You can back it up. You can Pass to yourself, set to yourself, pass again. You can pass, set, roll shot, pass, set, roll shot, and just play pepper with yourself. Any touches are good touches um, for practice. The third thing that you can try, the next thing you can do, is defense against the wall but we can make this a lot harder by having someone else, Hugh, my younger brother, throw the ball from behind your back so that you have no idea where it's going so you're working on your reaction time. And this is how that would look. So we'll start easy. He'll just throw it and then I'll try to get that ball up. I have no idea where it's going. I'd say with this, because you don't have anyone to dig to, you should just practice digging it high and to yourself. So, right there, and then it could get harder. Woo! <laughs> hard, hard, okay. <laughs> so I would, as you just saw for this, try to just touch it and get it up as best as you can. And this is good because you have no idea where the ball's going. Cool. Okay, that's defense against a wall with a helper and William doesn't even play volleyball, but anybody can just toss a ball against the wall. I'm gonna keep him for our next thing. So the next thing we're gonna do is have a person help you practice your serve receive. And so how they can do that is whether they play volleyball or not, they can stand a far distance from you outside and just throw balls at you so that you have a longer distance to ball coming um, that you can practice passing. So this is how that would look with a throw. So I'm letting that ball go halfway because if there's a net, right, the net's going to be somewhat closer to me. Fine. I am lucky that my little brother actually can sort of float the ball. So if you have someone that can do that, you might as well have them do that so it's more realistic. So this is how that would look. Nice! Okay, cool. So that is an easy way to practice serve receive when you don't have a net and you don't really have a server.
Also though, one thing you can do to make that a little bit more difficult is make a target. So you can grab a trash can, I grabbed a lawn chair, and try to pass that ball and have it land where you want it. So that's a good way to practice your accuracy. So this is how that would look. Oh my god, can I do this? Oh, too far. So you can practice your accuracy that way. Also, something you can do, I'm not gonna do it because I don't have any pads on, but you could do defense in this situation. So have the person with you stand like this and just throw balls like that to your sides. And then on the lawn, you can practice your defense. The next thing that you can do is without your ball and you can actually just practice any sort of footwork you want. So if you're a setter, a libero, an outside and opposite, a middle, you can always practice your footwork. So if you look below me, there is a line move the camera down onto the line. <laughs> Good job. And on this line, I'm gonna practice some of my footwork. So as a passer, I could practice maybe shuffling back and forth on this line. I could practice um, my movement to pass a ball on this line. If you're um, an outside hitter, maybe this is the net and you wanna practice that you're in for a block, you're down, you open, you step step and then you come through um, or if you're a setter I know no one sets this way but for the sake of the video you could practice your footwork I'm not a setter I don't know what it would be like uh, I don't know set but if you're a setter you can use this line as your net gauge and then really get good with what your footwork would be um, if this was the net. So the last thing I'm gonna share with you is serving. And what you can do for serving is get a garage or a wall that's far away from you and you can serve against that thing. You wanna make sure it's sturdy. Something that you can do to make this more advanced is tape a square. So I would tape a square maybe right here and I would practice serving my ball directly into that square. Now my garage is sensitive my parents garage so I don't want to risk uh, ruining that garage but I will show you how this looks against a wall this is not far enough for me to practice serving um, that's why I recommend something like a garage but what you would do is you would line up and remember if you watched my serving video I taught you how to do this form and you would be here and you would swing through and try to hit your square on the wall that's how you practice serving without a net or without a court well, those are all the tips that I have to share with you guys today. I hope that they were quick, easy to learn, and helpful. I know that a lot of you guys just want to keep getting better at volleyball. These are some great ways to do that at home. And, you know, there's always stuff you can be doing to get better. So thank you for watching this video.